Oh, twat. Right, here we go. Got my bike back. After two weeks, and no chargey chargey. There's my mate Mark. Motherfucker! So yeah, change the state of coil and now it's charging. Showing 14.5 volts when it's running. What a twat, just sat there at 22 miles per hour and a 30. So yeah, I'm going to do some videos about the bike, uh, bikes I've had, what I like about this bike, accessories I've had and why I've had them, and if they're any good, are they worth it, etc, etc. Also, my mate behind me, Mark, he's uh, going to be passing his test out for the next couple of weeks. And we're going to be going on some long rides, St. David's, Land's End, John O'Groats, Nest Point, all that, all that sort of stuff. So I'll be vlogging it and hopefully it will come out good. There he is. I'm absolutely boiling. I put all this new gear on and it's turned out 18 degrees and I am boiling. So excited about the rides I'm going to have on this bike, where I'm going to go, or where I'm going to take it, and uh, hopefully next year we'll get some big rides on the go. So yeah, welcome to my channel, Manx T. That's me, Tyler, or a lot of people just call me T for short. And uh, that's where it's come from, really. I was born and raised in the Isle of Man. 
And that's where the Manx Hawk comes from, because for anyone who doesn't know, if you're from the Isle of Man, you are Manx. M-A-N-X, not M-A-N-C like Manchester. So I've still only got 261 miles on the clock. This is the first bike I've ever had new. Um, it's my third bike. I had a Yamaha R6 first. Bit of a silly choice first bike really, but you live and learn. Um, and then I had a Hypermotor Ducati in between that. And this is the first one I've had new, so this is my first time running a bike in. And I'm sorry, but you have had the running service done by now. I picked it up at the end of August and I wanted to get it done at the end of September, but such is life that the state a problem. Put a bit of a spanner in the works there. It does feel so good though. I do think, like everybody says on all the reviews, not just about this bike, but KTM in general, in the last couple of years, I do think I've tried them myself, that their ride-by-wire throttle has the best response and the most natural feel. 100% bike. Can you see that? As soon as, as, soon as I blip that hand, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, let's have a look. I blip that hand. It's like the old cable. So I do think they've nailed that. Sneaky. Anyway peeps, thanks for joining me, uh, I hope it comes across okay, like I say, it's a learning curve, it will get better, and uh, yeah, I'd like you to come along with me for the ride.